a YouTube. Um, as you can see, I'm not at the layout right now. <laughs> um, layout is coming good. Uh, I have the ballast installed on most of my track, and that's going good. I told you I'd uh, give y'all an update when my engine came in. And my engine has come in, but I have not gotten around to putting what it looks like. Um, I have the man, I have the thing for it shows what it looks like. So I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Hold on. There we go. All right. Um, as you um, as you all know, Athern is going out of business. If you haven't heard, uh, I was pretty bummed about that, and uh, so yeah, they're going out of business, and the last engines that they produced would be the SD70 ACEs and the SD70 M-2s and the GP38-2 were coming out in the DDA40X and the uh, Union Pacific Turbine and the U50s were the ones that came out for this year and those were going to be the last of the engines that came out so sad that Athern, that Athern is going so um, a couple years ago I picked up a Athern engine thing it showed you everything and I will be hanging on to this until Athern you know comes around to their senses and doesn't want to quit but anyway the engine I have back here is an SD45 T-2 and I will show y'all as soon as I find it on what page it is okay now, I know a bunch of y'all seen this, and it's not that great and everything, but hey, it's an improvement for my layout. And it is the Cotton Belt Bicentennial Unit. I'm sorry for the color, using my webcam on my computer. But it's the Cotton Belt Bicentennial Unit right here as shown, and it I did install DCC to it, and it runs great. Um, so I programmed it with the help of... Uh, NS Modeler 24. Um, I could not find the matching caboose anywhere, so I'm ha I have a uh, Burlington Northern Bay Window caboose that I'm going to have shipped off to NS Modeler 24, and he's going to do custom paint for it and a wood chip hopper. So when that happens and I get it back and everything, I will actually do a video. But um shouldn't be too long before I put a video up and have the layout and everything shown. Um, it is coming good. I've had a few problems, but not much. Um, just the tape and everything going on the top of the track and leave back some glue and stuff. But if you guys know an alternative version of that, and I don't have to use tape to put over my track and gunk up my um, Athern Snap Track, that would be great. Uh, I will get around to showing y'all the video and so on and so forth. Um, another thing, I uh, think I'm supposed to be getting it. Uh, my dad wants to get me another engine, but I ain't going to pester him about it. <laughs> and I'm hoping to find one with sound, you know. But I plan to stick with four axle engines. Um, I'm not too much of a fan of six axle, if you know what I mean. Uh, I mean, they're all right, but I think I might get a GP40 or, you know, the, uh, I got it in here. Hold on. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about, and I don't think it is in here, but, um, they got one in the back, and it shows basically what I'm talking about. And I'll just skip to the back and show y'all. Yeah, it doesn't have it in here. It's the uh, Athern um, Southern Pacific 
uh, let's see what engine it is, uh, GP40X, as shown here. And I thought it was pretty nice. Has the elephant ears on the back, correct horns and all that, and uh, the gyro light or Mars light, as some people want to call it, on, on the nose, is not functional. Sadly enough, I'll have to get that separate wires and everything. But I am believe I'm going to get a sound decoder for my SD45 T-2 bicentennial cotton uh, belt unit. It's the AT, it's the TSU AT1000 uh, EMD645. And that would actually sound good in that. Um, supposed to be making a trip to Charleston in March. And I'll probably get some rail fan videos and stuff up. But I think I'm going to go visit my grandpa, which lives in Greenville, South Carolina. So you might be seeing a special visit to NS Modeler 24 layout. And I'm pretty stoked about that. So uh, that's all I have for today. And right now. I was sick today, otherwise I would have actually shown you my layout and everything. Uh, had a little allergic reaction to something, but eh, nothing too bad. I'm still in one piece, as you see. Um, please rate, subscribe, and uh, comment. Also, I um, believe I'm going to be putting a engine uh, train giveaway on here, you know, just to get some views and stuff. But it is a... Burlington, Burlington Northern, no, Great Northern, sorry, uh, GE 44-ton switcher, and uh, it's standard DC right now, but I paid, jeez, like 60 or $70 for it, so I'm moving on to bigger and better. Uh, so, there might be an engine giveaway, if not, it'll be sold. Um, that's all I can think of right now, guys. So, adios.